Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're checking out Soda Drinker Pro, the absolutely wonderful, beautiful, wondrous journey through a few different locations while drinking soda. It's a, an FPS game, and I know you've heard that acronym before, but it doesn't stand for the thing you think it does. It stands for First Person Soda, so I hope you're ready, because we're going to go on a journey together. You know, I saw this pop up on Reddit, and I had to leave a comment. I was like, just thank you, just, you know, thank you for making this. This is just perfect. And that got a whole bunch of upvotes because apparently people get the idea that this is like the exact thing that I look for uh, when I'm playing indie games on this channel. I i don't think I've played any first-person soda games to date, so this will be a first. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be excited to see how this goes. So let's check out C for controls. WASD to move. Uh, left mouse button holds soda to mouth. Right mouse button sip soda. Collect bonus sodas for bonus sodas. Press space to begin. So it's got sort of an opposite flair here from like your Call of Duty where you would hit like right mouse button to pull up your iron sights and left mouse button to shoot. So we're like reversing the formula because we're taking the nutrients instead of giving death. Something like that. Alright, let's start this up. Level 1 the beach, a lovely place to drink a soda. So this developer clearly has a lot of enthusiasm for soda gameplay and uh, just is in general a huge fan of soda. And can you really fault him? Uh, it's just a wonderful thing that soda does for us. It gives us energy, it gives us fizz, it gives us diabetes, hopefully not. That would be a bonus soda, we're going to pick that up for bonus, bonus soda. soda. Bonus soda. And we're going to actually drink a little sip right now. Yeah, that's refreshing. So let's take a look around our environment. We've got a lovely skybox here, a nice square primitive room. Uh, some really great art that doesn't tile at all as it goes around the seams. I uh, even put in a nice shading effect to make sure that we couldn't tell that this was a sky that goes on forever. Um, I believe that's a lighthouse over there, or some sort of angry red demon. He wishes he could eat soda. I'm not sure I know that feeling, but you know, you can actually if you want. You can actually freeze it in little popsicle trays. And then you can just crunch right into it. It's going to really hurt your teeth, but maybe you'll enjoy that. So, I mean, looking around clearly here, we need to keep in mind this is not a serious game. And if you thought it was a serious game, uh, please, please go away. This is not the right place for you. Uh, this is very obviously a tongue-in-cheek, just joke kind of messing around type of thing. Maybe this is the developer's first game or something. Maybe the developer had some assets... Or maybe there's a theme behind this that we're not sure of. Maybe there's a personal inside joke or something. I uh, probably don't really need to get into this. We should really just focus on the soda. Check out that rock. It's actually almost got a nice cell shaded aesthetic around the edges, which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, that black line, that border, looks classier than pretty much everything else going on. Why am I so slow? Sometimes I feel extra slow, other times I'm not. Uh, just so you know, for those of you at home that might want to play this, it is completely free. And there is a 32-bit and a 64-bit version, as well as a Mac version. I made sure to get the 64-bit version, because I want to get as much extreme soda action as possible. And I don't want there to be some sort of a soda bottleneck going on in my processor. I make sure that stuff flows freely. Yeah, you need more soda, man. Let's drink. It's very relaxing. Clearly the, the lack of ambient sound and, like, particle effects and lighting other than, like, the basic stuff. It's a conscious decision on the developer's part to make sure that we are cognizantly aware of the fact that we're in a mechanation. This is a, an, an artificial soda environment that was crafted just for us. So we go to a little special place every time we drink. So we should probably discuss, as we drink here, some of our favorite soda options. Now, personally, myself, I do like the occasional soda. I don't drink it as much as I used to. At least I try not to. But if I have to pick, you know, something, I might go with, like, a Sprite or, like, a Dr. Pepper. Or uh, I actually am quite fond of a Coke with lime or lemon. Either one of those are lovely. I do like egg creams quite a lot. I know those are almost impossible to find nowadays, but, you know, if you find a nice portal and go back in time to the 50s where those things are just everywhere, 
you enjoy a nice chocolate egg cream. It's really good stuff. And if you haven't ever had one or heard of it, you need to go look it up. It's really good. Uh, there's, a, like, one company, I think, in, like, the whole United States that still makes and bottles them. I mean, not that they used to be made and bottled. They were usually available at, like, soda fountains, like I said, back in the day. We're going to go to level 2, the park, walking with a nice cold soda. I like the subtitles, too. Uh, so other than egg creams, I also enjoy uh, ice cream sodas. Those are excellent. You know, a nice ice cream float. And just the vanilla ice cream with uh, Coke really goes a long way. I know a lot of people are more partial to uh, root beer with their floats. I don't know. Root beer seems extra sweet for some reason. Although I don't know how you could think that Coke isn't sweet, but I don't know. Whatever. Is there music? Oh, there's, sli there's very quiet music playing. I guess I have the sound turned down pretty far. I like how that tree just cuts off right there. And this house, by the way, this is like a holy abomination from hell. This is like the scariest house I've ever seen. I think we should try and go in. I feel like we're descending into the mouth of madness right here. Oh man, it's gonna eat us! Did I die? Am I dead? I can still drink soda. Oh no, I'm actually just right here. Alright, well I thought I went inside the house. That would have been pretty crazy. The house looks like it has eyes. Things with eyes creep me out. Especially people with eyes. No, I'm kidding. People need eyes to see. And I need a mouth to drink more soda! Bonus soda! Bonus soda, Bonus soda doesn't actually help you, by the way. If you've noticed, my soda bar does not go up at all. So just something to be aware of. You know, it's kind of interesting, if you think about it, there's actually a lot you could really do with an idea like this if you really wanted to. Uh, if you wanted to make a successful game about drinking soda, and uh, you'd have to avoid the obvious pitfalls of, like, getting sponsorship and, you know, becoming one of those sellout shill things you find in a cereal box or whatever. Uh, I've never really played too many games out of cereal boxes, but I'm, I'm aware that they're out there. Uh, but I could imagine if you got a really nice oh, graphics soda. engine going, like, get a license for, uh... I don't know, whatever the kids are using nowadays to make their pretty 3D games. I know everybody uses, like, Unreal Engine and stuff. Um, probably don't even need a license. I think you just go. But maybe to sell it, you probably do. Um, Source is the other one. Uh, but yeah, what you could do is just make, like, a free roam environment. Like, a big open area uh, with really nice graphics. And you just go around and you look for stuff. And then it could be soothing... You could relax with a nice beverage. It could be soda, it could be iced tea. Maybe a Fanta. Is Fanta even a thing anymore? Maybe that's gone now, I don't know. That seems really cool. Oh look, it doesn't even match where the corner is. Don't you like how I'm nitpicking the corners in this game about soda? That's really sensible of me. I wonder what the graphics were made of in this, or made from. It's MS Paint, you think? I really like the running narrative, too. Like, if you get this uh, yourself, which of course you're going to, because who wouldn't? Uh, you're going to want to crank up the volume as loud as possible and just enjoy all of the ambience this game has to offer. Let's finish up our sip there. Let's go to level 3, drinking soda in a weird room. Uh, now, this is the kind of room that Indie Impressions is all about. We've got various primitives spinning and turning. We've got... Cones, we've got cubes, we've got more cones, uh, and we've got cylinders in the shape of soda. Looks like some sort of weird melted George Washington made of wax on a box. That seems pretty cool. Let's see if we can go in that. Oh, yeah. We should actually drink some soda right here because this seems relaxing. Hmm. I could actually see this being, like, uh, some sort of weird viral marketing campaign for Mountain Dew or something. I think they go pretty weird, right? I know Burger King used to go pretty weird. They used to have the whole King thing, and the King was just, like... I don't know, he was basically a stalker. He would, like, jump in bed with you and bring you sandwiches, but, like, maybe you didn't really want to get in bed with the King. I don't know, maybe the King doesn't really give you an option. Uh, this soda, although it's a bonus, is completely out of my grasp. There's nothing much I can do about it. 
You just drink and think about it, though. Let's go check out over here. There's some more cones we haven't looked at really in close detail. It's too bad there's not more animated textures and stuff. Like, I'd like to really see maybe all this stuff moving around. I'd like to see the clouds go by. Kind of strange, actually. Like, what's going on over here? These walls don't quite reach the wall all the way. I th oh, no. Now I've done it. Alright, well, let's just drink some soda as we fall. I guess what he did was make the walls out of, like, boxes. So there's two types of ways you can make uh, level design when it comes to 3D. There's, like, additive and subtractive, where... Uh, Subtractive, you start with a solid mass and you chip away at it from the inside. And additive, you build from an empty open space and you create all the mass. Uh, see, like Unreal Tournament's engine, uh, that one uses subtractive, so you start out with a solid cube and you carve away from the inside. And it helps reduce a lot of issues like that where you don't just fall off into space forever. Of course, there's always going to be clipping issues, but, you know, it, it helps eliminate that a little bit. Let's drink some soda in space, what do you guys think? I feel like I'm playing Katamari Damacy or something. We're gonna roll around, I guess, and pick up some... No, we're probably not gonna pick up anything. We're just gonna pick up soda, if anything. Did that planet just fly over there? I don't know what just happened. So we're in space. Endless black abyss. Sort of reminds me of playing Dark Souls, you know, when you fight the Four Kings. It's not as soothing as I was hoping in space. And it's not quite as deadly as I figured either. You know, I'm thinking though, the one thing that it would do would hopefully keep your soda nice and cold. How do I get up there? There's a lot of bonus soda up there I can't reach. I can't fly. I don't have a secret fly button, jetpack. No, I don't. I'm checking. I don't. I guess I can just think about it. Maybe this is just an emotional situation where the, the, the developer's trying to tease you here. They're trying to manipulate your feelings. I love the dynamic lighting on the soda can, or the soda container as well. Cup, carton, whatever you want to call it. Cup is probably correct here. Is one of these Earth, I wonder? Probably this one? I don't know. Maybe we're in a whole different soda galaxy. I guess that could be the sequel, Soda Galaxy, right? We go from planet to planet, discovering new and different sodas. Could be foreign sodas we've never heard of from, you know, other countries or other worlds. From other quantum shifted time spaces. Anything's possible in space. I really like how it's Soda Drinker Pro, by the way. Oh, we fell off the world. Gravity actually pulled us down from somewhere else. Um, yeah, so Soda Drinker Pro, I mean, it sort of implies, like, that there's a light version, which makes me think of Diet Soda, of course. But, yeah, light version would imply that there's, like, a trial, and then this is, like, the the one you paid for. Which I'm very glad that this is free, because honestly, if somebody paid for this, I don't think they'd be too happy, but... Um, that's fine. I mean, this is just kind of silly. So I guess we'll fight the four kings down here. I'm um, not sure if I brought my ring. Uh, whatever, let's just finish our soda here. Move on to level five, drinking soda in a castle. I love these little keyboard MIDI interludes, by the way, between each level. Gives you a nice feeling. Like you're on board for something bigger than yourself. Got kind of a Napoleon Dynamite vibe to it. So this is a very large area, apparently, with a incredibly large area rug, or some sort of thing down here on the floor. I'm not sure how much this reads as a castle to me. I mean, we've got all kinds of strange lines and, like, a drawbridge over here. Look at this mushroom. Is this a mushroom or is it a table? It looks kind of like a mushroom to me. It doesn't have sufficient fins underneath, though. I mean, how are the spores going to get out of this thing? Maybe it is a table after all. Is there dynamic lighting on the cup if I go in front of this? Shame on you, developer. I want to see the beautiful ray-traced light rays going across my cup. Also, what's up with the color difference here? We've got, like, a very green version on the left. Whoa, that soda's gigantic. It's gone now, anyway. Soda on the... Uh, soda, I'm just gonna call everything soda. The wall on the left here has got a very green shift to it, and then the soda on the right's very blue. 
I'm just, seriously, I'm just calling them sodas now. These are walls, but I'm calling them sodas. Uh, and not sure how you would even get such a color difference between those two things, unless maybe that was intentional. This would make for a really sweet cameo, like, say if this, uh, you get all the soda, everything's done, you finish your soda, and then you go outside, like, this drawbridge would open up, and we could be transported into the world of Proteus. Imagine how cool that would be. You need to get the guys, uh, Ed Key and, and them on board. Proteus Soda Drinker Pro in Unity 2013. Make it happen, guys. I'm not sure why the, uh, the size of the soda and the size of your character are so inconsistent from one thing to the next. And I'm going extremely slowly here. I guess it's just because of the scaling on this room. Like, instead of making a, an elaborate castle, this is just a box that is especially large. Which implies that it's grand. Either that, or maybe it really is a mushroom and we just drank, or ate it and shrunk. Or maybe we're drinking mushroom-flavored soda or something. Whoa, three times bonus soda and then it broke. Let's check out the corners this time in case maybe there's uh, another hole we could slip through. Oh yeah, totally not quite butted up against each other there. Interesting how you don't always notice this stuff. Oh. Oh, I hope the floor keeps going. I want to find a secret back here. I hope it's a giant soda monster. Soda Hydra. Um, I don't know. This is pretty creepy, though. It looks like you can see an edge that you can walk on. I hope I found the most secretive soda area of all. I could drink so much back here. And I have a sip, actually. It's kind of parched. Ironically, playing this game does make me a little thirsty. I'm not sure why. Could just be that I'm talking at the same time, anyway. Man, if any game ever needed secrets, it is Soda Drinker Pro. Like, we need so many secrets in this game. I hope they're really... There's still an option. Maybe if the developer watches this. Let's do this. I want Soda Secrets. I want unlockable tokens... I want all kinds of RPG elements, I want to have randomized NPCs that I encounter, and a procedurally generated storyline that results in my character going into a coma because he drank so much soda that his uh, kidneys couldn't process them, and he passed out. He had to go to the hospital, but when he woke up, they were IVing him some soda straight into his bloods, blood veins, blood vessels. Yeah. There's not a secret back here, is there? Oh, God! Oh, God! That's our secret, guys. I thought that was going to be a troll face on the bottom of this. Well, time to drink some soda and contemplate our mortality. Falling forever. There's some pretty big existential things you can make, uh, as far as, like, extrapolations from this game. And, uh, drinking soda and watching your life fade away before you, it's, it's big stuff, man. You did it, you drank all five sodas, you are no longer thirsty, thank you for playing. That is the message we can take away from Soda Drinker Pro. One of the best games of this entire year, I guarantee it, now that we're in 2013. I don't think anybody's gonna top this. But if somebody wants to try... Watch this video, because this is a good place to start. And we've got ideas for days, man. Alright, I don't know where else we can go with this idea. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done with this episode. Pretty wild game. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, it's probably a decent first shot for somebody who's just starting out in game development. And there's not much to it yet, but I do grant that there was some work put into this one, so props for that. Um, I do like really strange, really uh, off-the-wall, like, out-of-this-world, crazy, kind of uh, oriented uh, ideas. So, yeah, the developer definitely gets credit for going all the way with that idea. Uh, you know, pick a theme, stick to it. That is definitely what happened here, so I will give you a bro fist for that. And we're doing bro fist for this episode because we needed them uh, with all the soda we've been drinking. You know what's also great? Coffee soda. Have you ever had that? Oh my god, it's so good. Not only do you get crazy, like, sugar buzz, but you get coffee buzz on top of it, and it just tastes good.
you just got to be careful because if that thing gets sh uh, shook up a little bit, it's going to explode everywhere. Nobody wants that because it's the stickiest thing ever. That's the thing we didn't touch on in this is what happens if your soda gets on the ground and then you like the friction of your walking through it. It gets all sticky and then there's like squishy sounds. We could have done a movie theater. There's so many possible locations. Well, let's peg it up for DLC. I want to see the movie theater location in uh, DLC for like three ninety nine come out in another couple weeks. I could do the art for you if you want. I'll just draw some wiggly lines and we'll call it a day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really not poking fun at this uh, developer. I just I was just having fun with the entire premise because it's so crazy. But thank you all for watching. We're gonna wrap this one up. Soda Drinker Pro, guys, go download it. Links are going to be right in the description. Uh, if you follow the default links, it does require an email address, but that's just to uh, get updates, which, in fact, when I first downloaded this, there was a glitch with it. Uh, the data folder didn't go through properly or something, so the uh, developer having my email was able to send me out a bug fix immediately for that, so that was nice and convenient. So I have to say, good support. Good, good support. Yeah, Soda Drinker Pro is well supported. Can't say the same for some of the AAA titles I've played in the past, but... You know, grassroots movement, guys. Let's keep this going. Thank you very much for watching. As always, head on over to the website, www.indie-impressions.com. Check out all the videos, old and new, sort them by distribution method, sort them by genre. Check out the tags, check out the forums, meet some cool people, maybe get some free stuff out of it in the process by watching videos and leaving comments on the site. And when you're done with the site, facebook.com slash indie impressions. Leave a like if you choose to, then you'll get every day's new video delivered right into your Facebook stream. Makes it nice and convenient for you. And then you don't have to come looking for them. I don't know, it's up to you. Whatever you guys like to do. If you use Facebook a lot, it might be convenient for you. And if you're an indie dev, or if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, criticisms, you just want to get in contact with me for some reason, at Rockley Smile on Twitter is the quickest way to do it. You know, if you just want to send me a free copy of your game because you want me to try it on the show, I will be happy to talk with you. That is a quick way to grab me. And of course, I do have a contact form right on the website as well. And I'm happy to take uh, private messages via YouTube or Reddit or Twitter. Whatever you have, I'm fine with. But that'll be it for today. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you come back in, uh, for another awesome indie game tomorrow. We're going to keep this going as long as possible. I'm going to see if we can find anything as weird or weirder than Soda Drinker Pro. So, message to you guys. Keep making weird stuff. I like it. Hopefully you like it, too. So I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a lovely night. And don't go into a coma from all the soda you've been drinking. All right. Later.